Now you're watching continuing coverage of a severe weather alert. Today's blizzard grounded all early flights at TF Green Airport, but there was still plenty of activity on the tarmac. Highway to Stu's reporter Tim White got an exclusive look at the snow removal operations at the airport. He joins us now live in the Pinpoint Weather Yard. Tim? Yeah, it was the Rhode Island Airport Corporation that gave us inside access to snow removal operations at TF Green Airport, a process that ends with critical testing of the runway to make sure that jets can take off and land safely. The terminal at TF Green empty, flights canceled, but on the runway, it's a different scene. We can't use salt. We have very specific needs. We can't leave a snowbank. We have to keep the lights exposed. We have to keep the signs exposed. Jeff Wigan is an airport operations specialist. It's a good bunch of guys. They work hard. Uh, the machinery's the best there is. It's the best in the world. The operators are well trained. At any given time, there are 40 workers and 35 pieces of equipment to clear the runway and areas around the gates. Just to give you an idea of how much snow they have to get off the runway, this is just one of the snow drifts at the airport. They push all the snow against the blast fence, but then they have to get the snow over the fence before they have any shot of opening this runway. Snow drifts litter the tarmac. Wigan says the crews using specialized equipment like this steel rollover plow, massive snow blowers, and snow brooms work as a team to stay ahead of the storm. It's supposed to continue through 10 o'clock tonight. Then there's cleanup behind that, and the crews will be fighting drifting snow, low visibility, shrinking temperatures, uh, icy conditions. Uh, that's been the biggest challenge with the storm. Wiggins tells me the first scheduled arrival to touch down at TF Green is just before 10 o'clock tonight, and he says despite all this snow, he's confident the runway will be operational. Live in the weather yard, Tim White, Eyewitness News. At any given time, there are 40 workers and 35 pieces of equipment like this massive steel rollover plow working around the clock to clear the runways. Rhode Island Airport Corporation granting Target 12 access inside their snow removal operations during the blizzard. The challenges with this storm are the uh, high rate of snowfall and the limited visibility. It's made it tough on all the crews. Airport operations specialist Jeff Wigan overseeing the mammoth task of clearing 2.7 million square feet of pavement. The operators are well trained and everybody knows their job. Intense focus is put here, runway five, the main stretch used for jets to take off and land. To keep this the way it is right now, how often do they have to make a pass? They're passing on this every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, depending on how it sticks, all night. All around the clock? Around the clock. They use equipment like this, this one's called a snow broom, and it's massive to clear off the runway, but no jets can take off and land until the okay is given. And they use this specialized piece of equipment called a friction tester. It's a truck that tests the runway to make sure that jets can stop safely. For Wigan and others who use this equipment and sign their name to the report, giving the green light to reopen the runway, it's a duty with great responsibility. Sense of pride for the guys? Yes, it is. They, they all take it uh, very serious. Uh, there's no, no joking around in this game. Wiggins tells me they will be ready for their first scheduled arrival tonight just before 10. Tim White, Eyewitness News.